since the third game in the series, Lorelei, is coming in, I'm hoping, October. So I'm going to play through this and Downfall to prepare myself for them, for it. And I'll see how this goes. So let's start her up. There's gonna be, they're gonna be actually be talking, voice talking. I'm not gonna read out all the stuff because I like the. My voice name acting. is Susan Ashworth. So I'll. Just I live alone go. in this old two-bedroom flat. I rarely go outside. Some would say it's a lonely life, and I guess that's true. But I don't like people's company. Not lately, anyway. I only trust my cats these days, and I will miss them dearly, but they will understand, like they always have. Teacup stays with me till the end. He watches me, as if he knew. Because earlier tonight, I swallowed a whole bunch of pills. They're legal, of course. Prescribed by my doctor for my sleeping problems. But I've taken 34 of them. All I could find in the cupboard. And now the room around me spins in a blurry tango as my heart slows down. 34 is a lot of pills. Oh, I like teacup. It's a cutie pie. Any second now, I will be dead. I feel calm. I'm ready for it. I've only got one thing to say now. Thanks for nothing. Goodbye. Was the music a little too loud for you guys? The sound? <sighs> Some of oh, shit. Yeah, I forgot. Alright, let's start this up. It's been a while since I played this. Got the the actual um, controls on this. Or, like, this actually looks a little wonky for. Well, it is an older game. I believe the next game is actually going to be fully in Unity or something. Okay, so we're gonna go in here. It's locked. Of course, it's always locked. Wandering. <laughs> it's up. Uh, I don't know about that. Maybe we're just used to other uh, characters' heads being much bigger, you know. And, oh shit! Where am I supposed to go? And like the anime style. I mean, I I played this game like ten times, and I don't even remember where I need to be going. Let's examine it. I feel strangely drawn to this place. I must find a way to unlock this padlock and get inside. Okay. Oh. Well, now... Now I am in a parking garage. Well, to be fair, it, this game... Outside of the music, this game was created, designed, coded, and everything by one person. So, I'll give him a pass. Jump scare. Alright, so I'm gonna 
examine. This ambulance is blocking access to the tunnel exit. Maybe there is no exit at all. Okay, let's open the door. Let's see what's be what's inside. It's locked, of course. When is shit ever not locked? Huh? What's making that noise? Hello? Who's there? Answer me! Cold body, my cold dead body right in front of my eyes. What is it doing here? Uh, turn head. Interesting. My eyes. Just about one thing I liked about myself. Even now they still shine a little. Oh, excellent. Ah, it's a key. I better take it with me. What was the key doing in my mouth in this body that's just been... I have a feeling this is not quite real. I did kill myself, didn't I? Well, figures. This game really needs a run button. Can I hit shift and run? Come on, it works in every other game. Oh shit. Um, <laughs> I did something with sticky keys. Crap. No, I don't want sticky keys. Okay. <sighs> Freaking Windows 10. Come on. It, clearly, you can't button mash on Windows 10 anymore, or it wants to do sticky keys. Well, what is that? Like an elk of some sort? Do they even have elk in, in England? Do they have, like, animals? Well, I don't know. Probably should follow it. Pretty sure this is in Brit- you know, so she has a British accent. Yeah, <laughs> I, just, I, I really hope it doesn't do that to me when I'm playing WoW. That would be really bad. Okay. Yeah, I think I'm definitely in the afterlife. I'm being tortured for it. My dead body hanging from a tree. I should be scared, but I just feel empty. Wait, what's that shiny thing on her neck? Is that a key? The body is too high, I can't reach. Okay. Let's untie it. It would take me hours to do this knot. seems bolted from the other side. Um, from the other side. Alright, so I gotta go back and open up the shack with the key. I'm guessing. I can't remember this place. Am I lost? Yeah, I don't think I <gasps> Hopefully I can get through this pretty quick and then I'll play uh, Downfall for you too, which is actually more of a horror than even more horror than this game. Plus it's got Joe Davis, um, wait, what's his name? the guy who does sing most of the songs for this, <laughs> actually um, does Joe Davis' voice and I love it. What a gruesome display. At, le at least it's not my head stuck on the bars.
I forgot. Maybe oh, I think I'm supposed to follow the bird. pretty lost. It's not an unusual circumstance for me. It happens quite often, actually. Oh, examine. Who's done this? Is there anyone else here? Well, at least I got a knife. Yeah, oh dear. <laughs> Please don't tell me that- oh there, it's around my neck. Sir, examine. I look like I'm just sleeping. Empty. I'll go ahead and take that key, thank you very much. This looks like the right place. Welcome to my house, Susan Ashworth. I have been waiting for you, my dear. I knew you would turn up one fine day, Lexus. Who... who are you? I have so many names, it's hard to pick one. But, I'm curious, who do you think I am? Well, pretty much sure she's evil. Um, I don't, I, you know what, I'm not even going for a specific ending, so whatever I check, pick is I, I pick. Um, Death? Interesting. Yes. Perhaps that's what I am. I come when there's something to take, but I never give anything back. I am doom, but I'm salvation too. I'm feared by most, but adored by some also. Some like yourself, Susan. Don't flatter yourself, old lady. I don't even know you. Well, that's not quite right. I've been around for a while, keeping you company. Always there, you know? Always there. So I was wrong. You're not death? No, I am not. Perhaps I am life. But then again, does it really matter? <sighs> well, maybe a little bit. Um... What will happen next? Depends on you, Susan. Inside my house, there are dark hallways that lead to places you don't want to see. But there is also something that will make you want to return to where you came from and cherish every single little breath you take. I'm going to make you an offer, Susan. It's a chance only a fool would refuse. Okay. An offer? What can you offer me? Let's come inside. It's getting cold out here. I'm just surprised how not well these <laughs> graphics have aged. This game's not that old, but... Uh, a lonely seashore. I still love the game, but... Please don't touch anything, dear. Shit. I wasn't going to. You lied to the whole world, Susan. And you lied to yourself. 
Is she really here? Maybe this is all just a dream after all. Now we can talk properly, my dear. <sighs> Will I be punished for taking my own life? Most people would be, but not you, Susan. You see, I watched you long enough to understand how you feel. I don't expect you to believe me, but I actually have sympathy for you. Who knows, I could be your only friend. The only friend in the whole wide world. So like I said, I'm going to make you an offer. I want to help you. I will give you back your happiness in exchange for a simple task. Your life will change completely. You will be yourself again. And you will soon forget the sadness that has consumed your heart for years. Okay, something tells me that I'm basically making a deal with the devil here. What do you want me to do? Yes. I think it's time to explain. But where are my manners? We're still in the hall. This is not a place for a serious talk. Follow me to the next room. I'll tell you everything you need to know. Well, considering how painkillers are the most over-prescribed medication here in the US. Not surprising. What's your offer then? What can you fix that life has destroyed? Susan, death can fix nothing. But though we are both dead, I am not death. I might seem just like a strange old woman to you, but I'm just as powerful as gods. And I chose you, Susan Ashworth. I'll need you to go back and face five people. They're not ordinary people. They're very special, just like you only in a slightly different way. Okay. Um. <sighs> what makes you think I want to go back? I finally did it. I killed myself. That's all I ever wanted. And yet, it turns out to be just another failure. I want this suffering to stop. Dear, dear Susan, you don't realize that the suffering never stops, do you? It only gets worse. This place is a passage between the world of the living and the world of the dead. You enter one of these corridors and you never come back. But you don't cease to exist. You remain. I don't even know what that is. I honestly don't take painkillers at all. Um, even when I had surgery, I wouldn't take them because they make me so sick. So it's not worth it. <sighs> Those five people, who are they? The parasites. That's what I call them. They don't know each other, but their destinies are bound together. You will have to keep your eyes open and be constantly on guard. Those people will want to get closer to you. They might even pretend they are your friends, but don't let that fool you. They have nothing but cruel intentions. They'll want to hurt you, Susan. They'll want to kill you. As homeless as they might appear, parasites are the evil scum of the earth, and they all deserve to die. Isn't my life bad enough without them? Don't be frightened. You will have a great advantage over them. They don't know that you know. Do you understand what it means? You will become my hunter, serving punishment for their sins. A tool of destruction. A dark angel walking through the river of blood. 
you find your purpose in life and you see for the first time how satisfying it can be. But how will I recognize them? There isn't a great deal of people in your lonely life, is there, Susan? You will know when you see them. Bring those deceitful bastards in front of me, and we'll make them regret for everything they've done. She seems a little bloodthirsty. <laughs> okay. Um, are you expecting me to kill them? No, Susan, I'm expecting you to fight for survival. To do everything you can to defend yourself. I know you're not a murderer. Quite the opposite, actually. You're a good person. But I also know that you don't want to suffer. And those people will want to cause you pain. They won't hesitate. In the end, you might have no choice. Think of it as gardening. If there were weeds among the flowers, you'd pull them out, wouldn't you? You'd get rid of them without thinking twice about it. I'm not really a gardening type, but I see your point. I'm glad. And remember this, you are not the only victim. If you don't stop them, the killing will continue. Innocent people will die. You have the opportunity to make the difference. And a chance to save yourself. Okay. There's a lot of talking in this. <laughs> a lot of dialogue in some parts. Um. Very true. Well, you start, you, you do it once, it becomes easier. I can't do this. It's too much. Dealing with criminals is a job for the police, not someone like me. Indeed, you are weak. That's why I have prepared a special gift for you. Immortality. Yes. You cannot die. Susan. All right, it's just got interesting. You will always return to life no matter what happens to you. What? This is the last thing I wanted. Please, can't you just let me die? I've made the decision. As long as they are alive, you cannot die. Shit. Well... <sighs> it's blackmail. You can't do that. I'm doing it for your own good. Anyway, you are in no position to bargain with me. You will either go and do what you have to do, or suffer for eternity. Forever unable to find your peace. <sighs> Fuck. All right. This all must be just a weird dream. I don't believe you. Susan, see this door here? Let's go inside. Let's not. Oh. I want to show you something that will help you make up your mind. Follow me. I don't know if I want to. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> yes, it's you, Susan. Come close. Say hello. I don't want to look at it. Haven't I had enough yet? That body in the ambulance. Then the forest. But this place is... This is exactly what I was trying to run away from. I don't want to be here. Make it go away. I assumed it would be wise to give you a little taste of the suffering you would endure. I want you to understand that you can keep going long after you come. I could easily pull it out. Shut up, bird. Oh, she's 
actually called Death. There's a better name for her, which I like better, but we'll learn about that later. Susan, it's time to make a decision. Ouch. The parasites are coming, whether you want it or not. You haven't really got much choice. You must stand up for yourself. <sighs> I take orders from nobody. Dang it. I'll do it my way. Don't you understand? There is no other way. Well, I don't know that. Besides, you could be lying to me. How do I know you are? to try to fix my life. But I really don't like what you're saying. If there's one thing I learned in life, it's that people let you down all the time. If I don't rely on myself, I can't rely on anyone else. You fool! You damned arrogant Shit. fool! I think I made the wrong choice. You have no idea what you have just done! But, fine, have it your way. In the end, I will be the one laughing at you. I always am. I don't remember if you can have a bad ending or not. I hope you're not, because I don't want to do this all over again. Um. Yeah, Sarcastic. don't laugh too hard, old woman. You might break something. When we meet again, you will beg me on your knees to give you a second chance. I don't really believe in second chances, so I might have to disappoint you again. Look, this is all just a bad dream. I want to wake up. I'm back in the house. Okay, it'll be fine. I don't need her. I'm sure I'll figure out what to do. All right. Oh, that's right. Sam it. Strange. The flame seems strong and steady, but there's no smoke. Let's blow one out. They left me no choice, Alice. Maybe one day, you'll forgive me. I think, um, I blew out the candle and the guy killed himself. Alright, now I'm not gonna blow out another candle. I'm not that evil. Yet. What the? How did I get back here? today. Actually it is. It's about 90 degrees out here in uh, Chicago. I don't know what the uh, Celsius conversion of that is, but scorcher. Alright, so let's use the crowbar. As useful as this, these things can be, there's nothing I can do with the crowbar here. Okay, fine. Okay. My favorite thing in the world. Crazy-ass looking machines that I don't know what, do, what they do. Too long a sacrifice can make a stone of the heart. Would it take another sacrifice to turn it back? Maybe I'm being silly. This is just some old machinery, after all. The hole has been boarded up with these planks. The sign underneath says, Emergency Power Switch Danger. 
not strong enough to pull them off with my bare hands. So let's look through. Oh, come on. There's definitely something there. Okay. Let's use this. Here, like wanting to see these sing these songs, I'm not gonna sing for you. I swear to God. Especially that songs like this. Ah, I like that song. All right. that they call chapter one the prologue chapter one <laughs> second yes I do enjoy fine art thank you for noticing there's a certain raw beauty to it that modern painters often fail to recreate I always wanted to be an artist myself but it'll be a long time before I can call myself that I often say that Patience are my canvas, but my job is more about restoration, obviously. I look at the damaged human minds and bring them back to their former beauty. I'm sorry, I'm probably boring you. No, you're no, actually creeping me out. It's not that. It's just... It's been a difficult couple of days. I'd really like to go home. Of course. And go home you will. As soon as we've done this little assessment, okay, you probably know how it works. I've read in your file you used to be a nurse. Yes, I know very well how it works. You want to check if I'm nuts. Well, I wouldn't use that expression, obviously. But yes, we have to make sure you're safe and figure out how to help you. Also, as a nurse yourself, you know there's always paperwork involved. These forms won't fill themselves. Honestly, Susan, you have nothing to worry about. This is just a formality. I could tell straight away that you are not nuts. Fine. What would you like to know? I will answer all your questions. Then I'll go home, take a long shower, and catch up on sleep. Wonderful. Let's see then. Where do we begin? She's awake, Doctor. Good evening. It's good to see you awake at last. You're in the Cedar Lake Hospital. My name is Andrew. I'm one of the doctors. Could you confirm your name for me, please? I really don't think any... You know, the interesting thing about this game is not all of the options, the answers... You can do anything. You can just play it all you want, so... I don't know. I'll just say Susan. Susan. Hi, Susan. I'm glad to see you're alright. You're on the ward now. Your condition is stable. 
I can see your brain functions just fine and there's no permanent damage of any sort. We've checked your internal organs and they're fine too. You're a very lucky lady, Susan. You might experience extreme tiredness and lethargy for a couple of days, but that should soon pass. I would advise plenty of rest now. The nurses on this ward will take it from here. Please, let them know if you need anything. Take care, Susan. Yeah? Please, don't try to speak. What did you say? Don't worry, Mrs. Ashworth. Your arm is fine. No, no, no. There was nothing wrong with your arm, darling. Now calm down. Would you like me to get you some water? Let me get you a drink. I'll be back in a second. Okay. So when can I get up and start wandering around? I'm sorry, Susan. Did I wake you? I have to take your blood pressure. Two seconds and I'm gone. My name is Liz, by the way. I... I'm sorry. I know this isn't very nice. Believe me, I hate waking people up just for this. But being a nuisance is part of my stupid job, unfortunately. Oof, I hate this place. Tell you what, Susan. Can I call you Susan? So anyway, I shouldn't say it, but you know I'm going to anyway. You are so lucky. It's crazy. You, doing what you've done, and her, walking in, seeing what she saw. That was a chance. One in a million. I'm not making any sense again, am I? I'm tired. They're working us to death here, you know. Modern day slavery. One day I'll tell them what I really think. I swear I will. Ah, and here it is. You've got the blood pressure of an 18 year old. Just wanted to say you're lucky, I think. And that I hope you've changed your mind about some things. Got to go, but I'll see you later. You take care, sweetheart, yeah? Okay, there we go, now that they're done talking. Hi, Kaseya. I'm trying not to interrupt the uh, dialogue too much. <laughs> um, you, you haven't missed much. Hopefully when I get a break, I can kind of fill you in on what's happened so far. Oh shit. Hmm. Bad dream. So, real quick, um, Susan Ashworth tried killing herself, and in her death wherever she was dead or whatever she found this old woman who basically told her who, i don't know if she was death or what but she told her she had to go kill these pe parasites five parasites were people who are obviously killers and murderers and horrible people and so she was she ended up being saved sent back to life and here we are i don't know what's going to happen from here well i do know but you guys don't <laughs> all right let's get started um yeah a really bad one i knew it I could see as soon as I came in the room that you were having a nightmare. I guess I shouldn't have woken you up. What was it about? Uh, I was Let's be burnt nice alive. Course. Actually, it reminds me of something that happened the other day. There was this woman on the emergency unit, and she really wanted to smoke, you know? But they wouldn't let her, of course. She wasn't well at all. Not just injured, but not right in the head. She was on 10 litres of oxygen through the face mask. She had to stay in bed, she was told. But she wouldn't listen, of course. And as soon as they'd left, she lit up a fag. The whole room went up in flames. And so did she. I guess you didn't really want to know that, did you? That's just me and my big gob. Typical. I never know when to shut up. I don't know why, but I just love how British people talk. You, they're, it's like the best. It's so interesting. It's, it never makes me like not feel like I want to hear their voices. Um, what was your name again? I forgot to introduce myself, didn't I? I always do that. So sorry, Susan. My name is Elizabeth. But you can call me Liz, like everyone else. You're here a lot. 
Every time I open my eyes, I see you. They make auxiliaries do crazy hours here. Seriously, I feel like I've got no life sometimes. I'll be here till the morning. To be honest, I keep coming here to hide. Please don't give me away. I just want to rest my legs for two minutes, that's all. What happened to me? Well, how much do you remember? I... I took some pills. And I fell asleep in the chair. I remember how the room kept spinning around me slowly. I felt so calm. And then... All of a sudden, I was on the field of barley. It was great at first. I felt happy. I was free. But it soon got worse. There was this tunnel. But there was no light at the end of it. Only darkness. Then I got lost in the woods. There was my dead body hanged on the tree. A burning car. And a crow. And a deer. I heard something behind the trees, but I didn't dare to look. Then I found the house. The old woman who lived there. I think she was death. Or maybe she was the devil. I'm not sure. She said they call her the Queen of Maggots. She said I should go back. Gave me another chance. And so, here I am. Weird dream, eh? Did she maybe it wasn't a dream. I really believe in that sort of stuff. It's not impossible. It felt real, but it was just a dream. Can you now tell me who found me and what happened? Well, your body went into a coma. You were lucky she came home and found you. I told you that before. What? Who found me? Your daughter, of course. She called an ambulance. If it wasn't for her, you'd sure be dead now, Susan. My daughter? Yes. Why? Why'd you look so pale all of a sudden, Susan? I don't have a daughter. Whoever she is, she lied. But why would she do that? How should I know? I was in a coma, apparently. So she lied? It doesn't change the fact that you owe her your life. I was fine. I didn't ask for any help. Sorry. <laughs> yes, and I don't think I obviously she didn't I didn't take the option that called her the Queen of Maggots, but yes, she is, and she's a character that follows throughout these games. Um When will they let me go home? I'm not sure. Probably not today. Maybe tomorrow. Look, I shouldn't say that, but you seem like a nice person. I feel like I should warn you. There's this doctor here. They call him Dr. X. He's a chief of psychiatry in this hospital. Oh, you won't be able it. to go home until he's talked to you, and he... He's really good at getting into your head. You know what I'm saying? He will ask you a lot of tricky questions. But he's a really great guy. You should trust him. Oh, sure. Oh, sure. I should totally trust him. Um... Tell me more about this Dr. X. His name is Xavier Zellman, but everyone just calls him Dr. X. He comes on the ward often, usually late in the afternoon or in the evening. I personally really like him, but you hear all sorts of stories in a place like this, you know. I don't know what to believe anymore. All I know is he's been very friendly and supportive. Some doctors won't even say hello to you, but Dr. X usually stops and asks how I am. He knows I have some problems. He can see I'm not happy here. He actually offered me some free weekly sessions. I think I might take him up on his offer. What are they saying about him? Oh yeah, they say he's a big flirt. Nurses, cleaners, patients. He doesn't care. As long as they're wearing a skirt. One girl I knew. Linda. I heard they had an affair. Stupid girl. Well, she left. And I never saw her again. Now, why do you think that is? Dr. X got her knocked up. They covered it up and quietly got rid of her. Probably paid her some money. I don't know how these things work, but it must have been enough to shut her up. I bet he'll be more careful now. But I can't really say a bad word about him, personally. 
Well, one thing. Maybe. Don't laugh, okay? He's got a weird smell. What do you mean? Weird smell? He smells funny. I don't know. Maybe it's just bad aftershave. Or maybe it's something he eats. Oh, thanks for the warning. I'll try not to get too close to him. Now that I think about it, there's something else too. I'll tell you this, Susan. He starts talking to you, and you just open up and tell him everything. It's very odd. I don't exactly hide things from people, but he got some really private stuff out of me. Really private. You know what I mean? Things I wouldn't tell my mother about. And we haven't even started those sessions yet. So, be prepared for that. Sure. But it's a bit too late for me to hide how I feel now anyway. I think I made it very clear when I swallowed those pills. Alright, hold on a second. Can I... Oh, I can't save. Dang it. That stupid box from Steam is in the way. Steam UI. It's driving me crazy. Alright, um... Right, we're just I'm tired. Do that. Let me sleep now. Fine. I'll see you again. Be careful who you trust here, Susan. They will be watching you. How do I know you're not one of them? You don't. But do I really look like a bad person to you? I... I don't know. Maybe not. I'll see you tonight. Remember what I said. More like Elizabeth, um, Dreams are just dreams. <laughs> information dump. But when they turn into nightmares, it's good to have someone there to pinch your arm and wake you up. Right? We'll start with a little chat about your childhood. I want you to be as honest as possible. It's important if we want to get to the bottom of your problem. Count to ten, and tell me when you're ready, Susan. Ah, <sighs> shit. Okay, hold on. Alright, now let's talk to Dr. X. Ready to talk. This isn't all about whether you're nuts or not, like we said before. It's about finding what has caused how you're feeling now, and creating a working solution. In order to achieve that, I need to get to know you better. Can we talk about your childhood first? Your parents. When you're a child, your life revolves around them. What was your father like? Did you have a good relationship with him? Um... No. He wasn't a good father to me. He was a cold, scary man. Had this wall around him. I could never talk to him about anything. He wouldn't understand. He'd just punish me instead. Maybe it's his fault I got some wires crossed in my head. Because he never loved me. I've always wondered what it feels like to have a loving dad. Maybe it's not too late to fix things between you two. It is. He's dead. Cancer. Six years ago. I see. But it isn't too late for you to put things right in your heart. Have you forgiven him? Um, have I forgiven him? No. She's gonna be Why better. would I? He doesn't deserve to be forgiven. All he did was make my life hell. He destroyed my childhood. He always made me sad. Yes, sad is the word. It's all true, Susan. But the anger you have kept in your heart all these years isn't doing you any good. Don't you think you would be a better, stronger person if you could rise above it all? Aren't you becoming a bit like him, angry and bitter? Aren't those the things in him you hated most? My mind is already made up. I will never forgive that son of a bitch. I hope he burns in hell. Well, if you put it like that... Let's talk about your mother now. What was she like? Would you care to tell me about her? Well, should I... I don't know. 
this doesn't make any difference to the story, so it's just whether I want to have her have a horrible childhood or not. Ah, she was a horrible she mother. She never cared about me. All that mattered to her was the booze, and never me. What I remember clearly from my early years is the image of her sitting by the window. She'd stare at it for hours, smoking. My dad saw it all, of course, but he was unable to do anything about it. I think he just loved her too much to do anything. They argued a lot. Their fights always take place behind closed doors. It's one way of protecting the child from it all. But children always know. At least, I did. I remember every time they fought, I tried so hard to just go to sleep. But sleep never came. No matter how hard I tried not to listen, I couldn't stop. I just couldn't. Okay, I'm beginning to get a better picture. That's enough about your parents for now. Let's take two minutes and we will talk about something else. Okay, I can finally do stuff, I think. I need to get out of this place. I hate hospitals. Besides, I really want to go home and forget all about this. Alright. Oh, I don't want to lie down. I don't really want to sleep here. I'm not tired anyway. Alright, so let's get up. The needles are stuck at 10 to wait. It's probably broken, or maybe it just needs new batteries. Oh, okay, that's full of latex gloves. Three different sizes. I think I'm gonna take a lot of gloves. Let's just take a lot. Oh, there is a sink there. Oh, drug chart. It's a list of drugs for patients inside room two. I guess that's me then. I'm in a lot of sedatives, it appears. The stuff they're giving me could knock out a horse. And give it a headache for a week, too. It could also cause hallucinations and paranoia. How bizarre. Why would they want to give me all that? I'm not crazy, I know that for sure. If anyone's crazy here, it's someone who, who put me on all this medication for no good me medical reason. Definitely. Oh, flowers. A bunch of chrysanthemums. I hate flowers. Might want to take some? No way I'm taking that. I don't like flowers, especially chrysanthemums. <sighs> okay, let's see if we can get out of here. here. I don't think I need any more gloves. No, I don't want to lay in some random person's bed. Ooh. There's nothing interesting under the pillow. Dang it. Dang it all! Alright. It's a list of drugs for patients inside room 1 and some notes. According to this, her name is Ann Burton, 35 years of age. She's taking lots of sedatives and has a long history of drug abuse. It seems that on top of it all, she's, ta she's taking methadone for heroin and withdrawal syndrome. At the bottom of the page, there's a note saying she's actually a private patient who's staying here out of her own free will. Lucky lady. I guess it won't be so easy for me to leave the ward. I think she might actually be in the bathroom. There's someone inside. Hello? I guess I should wait my turn. Dang it! I gotta pee! <sighs> I don't want to use the bedpan. Oh, it's nice glasses. I bet she thinks she, those red rimmed glasses make her look attractive. I know her kind all too well. Completely dedicated to her job, yet totally brainless and close minded. <sighs> I'd like to go home now. Well, so would I. But there are procedures and a system in place. I can't just let you go like that. What? Look, I'm very busy at the moment. I'll come and talk to you in a minute, alright? Okay. Well, let me grab this discharge letter. It's a discharge letter for Anne Burt, currently a patient inside room 1. It seems she has admitted herself into hospital and is allowed to leave whenever she wishes. Which means I need my hands on that discharge paper. Please do not touch these. They are all confidential documents. Yeah? 
Well, maybe you shouldn't leave them out on the desk for everyone to see. If you are looking for something to read, we have some magazines for patients here. Thanks, but I think I'll pass. Of course, and they have to distract her somehow. These must be the patient files. They are piled up on the desk. Please do not touch these. Oh, they are all confidential documents. Come on now. I was only going to tidy up. I'm sorry. Are you one of the housekeepers? Why did you dress up as a patient? I just can't stand mess, that's all. And there's no need to be sarcastic. Who's being sarcastic? I don't think I like her very much. I'm just gonna walk past shit. Let me through. I'm going home. Can I see the discharge letter first? If you haven't been discharged by the doctors, I'm afraid I can't let you through. You have no right! I am a free person, and I'll do what I want. I'm not staying here a minute longer. I'll have to see the letter first. May I ask what your name is? Um... Uh, let me see. There Just we go. let me go, asshole. There's no need for that attitude, Mum. We're just doing our job here. Is that your excuse for being a brainless, fascist son of a bitch? You're taking away my freedom. Are you going to hit me next? These precautions are for your own safety, Mum. Now, if you'll excuse us, we've got a job to do. Yeah, standing on the corner, looking stupid. Don't get too tired, will you? Bastards. <sighs> Yeah, I'm just gonna play her really bitchy. That's that's how I'm gonna play this playthrough. About time. This must be the patient from side room too. God, doesn't she look confused? Another suicidal patient. Strange. She looks like someone I know. Hi. Are you all right? Can we talk for a minute? I can't talk. Please, just leave me alone. Oh, I mean you no harm. I'm trapped here, just like you. Trapped? I don't know. It's just so hard to think without it. But you're a stranger. And you're not one of those lovely nurses either. They look after me so well. I trust the nurses like I trusted my mother. I just want to talk. I need your help. Unless it's mother who sent you. Was it her? Please tell me it was her. Um, yeah, sure. I'm a good friend of your mother. I miss her so much. I can't remember you very well. But you should know this. If you really are a friend, you will know my mother's name. The name that haunts me. A beautiful name. Yeah, sure I do. Now, let me ask you. What is it? Oh, crap. Well... What is my mother's name? Hmm... Uh... I don't think it's any of these. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. No, of course you don't. Leave me alone. Please, just leave me alone. Fine. Oh, it's the toilet door. Alright, thank god. I really have to go. Actually, it looks like it hasn't been emptied for a while. Oops. There are lots of discarded medication pots in there, among other gross stuff. Well, we're gonna search. I'll take one of these medication pots. You never know when you might need them. Please stop writing messages on, in the mirror. While we are currently experiencing difficulties maintaining high level of cleanliness due to sudden absence of our cleaning staff, we all ask patients. We ask all patients to be considerate and help us keep the ward tidy. <sighs> okay, so someone's writing. <laughs> names and things on the mirror which means I need some hot water because if the last door season 2 taught me anything if there's a mirror over a sink you need hot water oh shit I don't think I want to do that
someone is coming. Crap. Have you rang the bell? Is there an emergency? Uh, yes. <laughs> I wanted to see how long it takes you to answer the bell. Look, I'm a nurse. <laughs> I have a lot of paperwork to do. We're doing our best here. It's not my fault that suicidal fruitcakes like you come here and scratch and piss on the bloody walls. Hey, don't speak to me like that. I'm straight. I'm not suicidal. And I'm not a fruitcake. And I didn't scratch anything, let alone pissing on the walls. <sighs> Why do I bother? I think it's time we give you some medication. Can you please tell me your name and your date of birth? Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh, well, just Anne like Burton, born in 1975. I know, right? Let me just check her name band quickly. Miss Ashworth, I think you got a little confused there. Drink this liquid now. It'll make you all better. Oh, it always does. <sighs> Fuck. If I refuse, she's gonna make me take it anyway. Are you insane? I'm not taking any medication. I'm not ill. Okay, we are prepared for this. Jim, can you come in, please? You must be kidding me. Unfortunately, I'm not. I'm going to give you an injection. You'll feel a sharp scratch. Hold it for me, would you? <laughs> this does not seem very, um... Is this what happens at regular hospitals? <laughs> Please Go tell back me. to your room and rest. Please tell me this isn't You'll be what able to relax British hospitals are like. <laughs> oh. Oh, okay, that's right. So... I think I need to... Well, they just want to drug her up and have her go back to sleep. Shit. Oh, that's right, this is my bed. Oh, lovely. Is this what happens when you get high? Because I don't know, I've never been high. It's honest to God, I have never even, any, even smoked marijuana. The drugs have worn off and I feel better now. But I can't let them do that to me again. I need to get out of here. The worst I've been is like really, really drunk. And uh, that involves Las Vegas for, sh for, for real. And um, yeah, I'm not going to recount that tale. Okay, All right, let's run hot tap water. Steamed up yet? Someone is coming. Oh. Have you rang the bell? That's right. Is there an emergency? Um. I just want to remind you then. I go. just wanted to remind you that I'm ready to go home. Oh, is that so? Well, guess what? I haven't forgotten. It takes time. I could lose my job if I don't follow the correct procedures. Why do I bother? I think it's time we give you some medication. Can you please tell me your name and your date of birth? Let's see. I'll have your name so I can make a big fat complaint. There is no need for that attitude. First, you were being disruptive when I'm just trying to do my paperwork. And now you are threatening me. Oh, you should know we are only following the doctor's orders here. Now, forget that silliness and let me have a quick look at your wristband. Damn it. Miss Ashworth, I strongly suggest you take this, all right? Fine, fine. I'm just gonna take them. I'm not gonna fight. That's a good girl. Now, drink it down. You'll feel much better. Now, 
Go back to your room and rest. You'll be able to relax and have a great sleep. What? How come it- I used the hot water! Fuck. Alright, well... Maybe I have to explore around here a little bit. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. Actually, the, uh, the process of getting drunk is actually better than being drunk. What is it? Narcotic heart. So hard. Concentrate. Is this thing filled with drugs? Can I um, do anything with it other than the salmon? Oh, I need something to... Oh, that's what I need the medication pot for. For the uh, narcotic cart. I gotta... But I need something to cut that bad boy open. Ugh. Alright, so... Lie down, do this shit again. Alright, what did I miss on the stupid mirror? I have to, um... I have to get it so I can see what she's writing in the mirrors. I think I got everything I needed so far. The drugs have worn off and I feel better now. But I can't let them do that to me again. I need to get out of here. But you took them voluntarily. Alright, let's talk. Uh, see if she has anything. If you really are a friend, you will know my mother's name. The name that haunts me. A beautiful name. But I know it. Let me just think for a second. Oh, it's not here. I don't know. No, of course you don't. Leave me alone. Please, just leave me alone. Alright, so how do I do this? Enter. <laughs> well, it could be. Oh, mirror. There we go. Examine. I can't look at myself. The mirror is cracked. A large shard of glass is lying on the side. Alright, let's take the shard of glass. If they find it on me, they'll think I'm a complete psycho. But it might be useful too. I'll risk it. Alright. On hot tap water. Come on, steam up. There we go. I know what it is. Hopefully um, I can get it out of her without having to get drugged up again. Watch, I'm gonna have to get drugged up though. If you really are a friend, you will know my mother's name. The name that haunts me. A beautiful name. But I know it. Let me just think for a second. There we go. Sheila. Yes. It was my mother who sent you, after all. I'm sorry I didn't believe you. But my head's all messed up. So, let's have a little chat, sweetheart. Um. I think it definitely is. Something's wrong with this place. I think it's really nice here. We must stay here. Do what they say. Take pills they give us. Sometimes. If I behave, they give me the red stuff. I wait for it. I'm being good. What is this red stuff? It's a drug. My favorite one. Red stuff takes the pain away. I must stay here. Good nurses have been most kind. They always remember. They know I'm suffering. But it is not the same as the drugs I see in my dreams. On the other side of the mirror, there's a spider's heart full of drugs. I just can't seem to find it anymore. I see. <sighs> okay. So. Let's swap our name bands. How about we swap our name bands? Oh, yeah. I don't mind. But that would be like a favor to you. Yeah? Well. Technically, you wouldn't lose anything, because I'd give you my name band instead. Does that make any sense? Sure, yeah. 
I do want something better in return, though. I'm not that stupid. I know you'll use it to get out of here. Oh, I never said you're stupid. I... I just really want to go home. Please understand. That's fine. I don't mind. I'll give it to you if you get me the red stuff. What do you say? I thought nurses give it to you anyway. No, not that. I'm talking about the real thing. Something you can only get in the world of dreams. Now real? that is something special. Is it safe? It's perfectly safe. Um, okay. I'll see what I can do. <sighs> right. Um, yeah, let's get out. Oh, shit. I guess I do have to keep talking to her. Uh, Are you all right? I'm fine. Yes, Yes, this it's is. all fine. It's just hard to wait, you know? They said I can have it. You know, yeah? So I wait here. Don't want to miss it. That nurse promised it to me. The one with the red glasses. But I think it's been three hours already. Why are they late? Do you think something happened? Do you think she changed her mind? Because I swear if she did, I will hurt myself again. I swear to God, I will hurt myself again. I'm sure they'll be here in a minute. They're probably just very busy, that's all. Oh boy, okay. What exactly is this little treat you mentioned? It's the red teardrop of pure happiness. They bring it, I drink it down, and my pain goes away. Without it, I just feel so angry. It's like I'm going crazy. <laughs> it's funny, but... I just get so fucking angry sometimes. I'm dying, I think. We're all dying, I heard. She said I'd go to hell for it, but I didn't do anything. I didn't know. Does he know? Who? Him! Right. Okay. No, probably not. Who's him? I need the red medicine. I need it now. I must be a good girl. I must be a nice girl. Maybe I could get you some of that stuff. Do you know where they keep it? Oh, they have it hidden well. You can't get there. Or maybe you can. I see it in my dreams sometimes. It's where the nurses are. But in my dream, there are no nurses there. I see it, but I can't get it. It's so near and yet Absolutely. so far. I can still hear the broken heartbeat of the spider's heart. Okay. Alright, I'll talk to you I'll later. I'll talk to you later, yeah? Yes. Go. Be careful. They're watching us. And remember, we must be nice to earn the red stuff. Always be nice. Poor woman. I don't think they're really helping her in this place. I mean, she voluntarily ad admitted herself, so maybe they're just... I don't know. Maybe they're just, uh... Draining her insurance or something. But this is Britain, so they have single, single pay, so it doesn't, it doesn't make a difference. Actually. It's not like here in the US, we've got good Someone insurance coming. people that you check out because they're like, Oh yeah, we can rack up all these charges. Have you rang the bell? Is there an emergency? Uh, let's see. I'm feeling a bit woozy. Are you really? You look fine to me. No, I I'm really not feeling well. Fine, I'll call the doctor for you. But I can't help it if he's busy and can't get here straight away. In the meantime, I know how to make you feel better. I think it's time we give you some medication. Can you please tell me your name and your date of birth? Fine. Susan Ashworth, 24th of May, 1970. I'm fairly certain. I'm just going to check your name band now to confirm that. That's fine. That's fine. I'd like you to drink this liquid, please. It will help you relax. It will help you relax. Said that already. 
That's a good girl. Now, drink it down. You'll feel much better. Now, go back to your room and rest. You'll be able to relax and have a great sleep. How is it they don't even bring her back to the room after giving her these, like, really, really high-powered sleeping pills? I don't get it. Yeah, I just gave you something that's gonna knock you off your ass, but, you know, you can get back to your bed by yourself. have this shit when I wake up. And I do. The drugs have worn off and I feel better now. But I can't let them do that to me again. I need to get out of here. Alright. Time to make a deal. I've found the thing you asked me for. But... Are you absolutely certain it won't harm you? Don't be silly. Of course it won't. Fine. I hope you know what you're doing. Can I have your name band now, please? Yes. No matter what they say, I do keep my promises. What do they... You know what? It doesn't matter. Thank you for your help. Alright, time to get out of here. It says, Aunt Jennifer Burton, 1511 1975. Yeah, five years younger now. Cake? Please do not touch these. They are all confidential documents. Yeah? Well, maybe you shouldn't leave them out on the desk for everyone to see. If you are looking for something to read, we have some magazines for patients here. Oh, fuck, how do Thanks, I get her out of here? But I think I'll pass. Wait, were these on the desk when I was in the uh, like when I was asleep with the big heart there? I don't remember. I need to get her out of here. Can I make a phone call, please? Oh, yes, of course. But the phone's being used at the moment. Can you please come back in five minutes? Thanks. Oh, yeah, that might, might, that might be it. Someone is coming. Shit. No, Have you rang the bell? Know. Is there an emergency? Ah, <sighs> fuck. I pressed it by mistake. Sorry. Oh. Alright. It happens, I guess. I'll see you later. Oh, I actually got out of it, but... I'm trying to remember. Gloves. Oh, I remember. I know what I gotta do. I gotta actually clog up the uh, toilet.
There we go. Someone is coming. Have you rang the bell? Is there an emergency? The toilet's blocked. What? Ah, oh, well, that's hardly an emergency. It is when you need to use it urgently, like I do. I see. Fine, I'll sort it out. Just give me a minute. So that all oh, me. it's the gloves. Again. Again! I guess I'll have to get my hands dirty since the cleaner's called in sick. Ah, yes. A nurse, nurse's job is very glorious. Okay, we are getting that thing and getting out of here. Yes, that's exactly what I needed to finally get. Alright, let's get out of here. Sorry, ma'am, can't let you through. We'll need to see a discharge letter from your doctor first. Here. Are you happy now? Yes, that seems fine. Can I just check your name band to confirm that you are indeed Anne Burton? Oh, alright. I didn't realise you knew how to read. There you go. Can I go now? Of course. Thank you, ma'am. We'll see you soon. No, you won't. Now get out of my way. I was about to say that. Alright, let's get out of here. What's this? Storage room. Other storage. It's a storage office. It's locked. Surprise. Surprise, surprise, locked. Oh shit. It's Dr. X. And you must be Susan Ashworth. Um, well... Perhaps I am? Do you mind if I ask you where you're heading to? I was just going for a little walk, stretch my legs, get some fresh air. Give it a rest. I'm not going anywhere. Miss Ashworth, please relax. There's been a mistake. You have been prescribed wrong medication. I apologize sincerely on behalf of my team and the hospital, but luckily we managed to spot it on time. On time? You have no idea what I've been through? Once again, I'm truly sorry. I promise no more drugs will be given to you. I personally guarantee you will have a good, peaceful sleep tonight, and you can be discharged in the morning. Why can't I go tonight? I want to go now! I'm really sorry, but we can't legally discharge suicidal patients without a full psychiatric assessment. It's too late for it now, but I promise we'll have a chat in my office first thing in the morning, okay? And then you can go home. Is that all right? I haven't really got much choice, have I? Now I'd like to ask you some questions about your life, Susan. You might find them very personal, but it's important that you answer me as honestly as possible. Fine. Let's get it over with then, shall we? I'd like to go home at last. Of course, I understand. So, Susan, let's see. Are you living alone at the moment? Uh... Well, I don't think I'm living in front. I rent a flat. It's quite lonely most of the time. I used to like being on my own, but I'm not sure if I still do. Too much time with my thoughts, and no one to talk to. Maybe I should get a parrot. We'd have a little chat each time I feel like opening up. Or maybe you could consider finding friends through our suicide watch service. They're very good. Helped a lot of people. Okay, maybe I will. What do you do for a living? Uh. I'm between jobs at the moment. I'll find something soon. But it's been difficult. I didn't feel that great. I felt weak and powerless and...
tired most of the time. I felt really awfully tired. Typical depression symptoms. We can give you something for that. You'll feel stronger and motivated. I admire your faith in modern medication, Doctor. I hope you're right. Describe to me what your mornings look like. What is the first thing you do each day? Uh, let's see. <sighs> I'm just gonna go with a super, super duper depressed option. I lie in bed awake. Can't bring myself to open my eyes. I see. I'm scared of the coming day. I know already what'll happen. And what's that, Susan? Nothing, really. Nothing at all happens in this stupid, empty life. Sometimes I wonder why I even get dressed. What for? For who? I hardly ever get out of the flat anyway. Would you say that you feel safer at home than outside? Um... Not really. I don't feel that safe at all. How can you feel safe these days anyway? You can be living next door to a murderer who'll blow your head off for a bit of fun. Local kids have set an old man on fire the other day. They filmed him as he burned to his death. I knew this woman. She slipped on a wet bathroom floor, cracked her head open, and broke a leg. She lied there bleeding for two days, unable to move. By the time they found her, it was already too late. Susan, taking risks is a part of life. What do you think is missing in your life? Or rather, what is one thing that you think would make your life better? Um, would be... No. No, I'm not gonna I have to go with that route. Um, let's do that. Something to fight for, you know? A reason to go on. There's always a reason to live. Sometimes we just don't see it that clearly. Well, Doctor, I must have gone all blind then, because I can't see any. Have you ever attended group therapy for depression, or some other form of counseling? Yes, it didn't help much, as you can see. Just something to think about. I can see you're really willing to open up and talk about your issues. That's a positive sign. I... I haven't really talked about my feelings for a long time. You're doing very well so far. Do you have problems sleeping? Every night. I take pills for that. There aren't any left now, though. In the light of recent events, I think you should stay off those pills for a while. I suggest you drink some hot milk before bed instead. Would you describe for me how you feel at the moment? I feel... No, no. The world, the world is against me. I feel like the whole world is against me. Do you find it hard to concentrate? Yes. Sometimes. Do you drink alcohol, Susan? We're just gonna make her uh, a wreck. As much of a wreck as I can. Only sometimes. I'd suggest you don't consume any alcohol at all for what? a while. Does that sound That's like bullshit. something you can do? Yeah, sure. I'm not a big drinker anyway. Sometimes when life gets too much and people feel sad or upset, they think about suicide. Do you often think about suicide? Well, I'm pretty sure this happened after I actually tried committing suicide, so... I... Yes. I think about it often. But now, I know I can't do it. Still, it won't just go away that easily. I need more time. I need to think it through. I need to find my peace with the world, I guess. Please, in your own words, try to explain to me why did you really try to take your own life, Susan? Nothing was making me happy anymore. There wasn't a single thing that would bring a smile to my face. I kept thinking, won't it be better if I'd just disappear? I tried, 
I really tried to find something. Took a long bath, picked up a book, watched some television, but I just couldn't get into anything. All those things seemed like worthless distractions, and I myself felt obsolete, needless. It just would get worse and worse. By the afternoon, I realized I cried for the past three hours. I, I didn't even know I'd been crying until I went to the bathroom and saw my face in the mirror. I looked like a ghost. I looked like I was dead already, you know? And then I saw the sleeping pills. I thought, why not? And I did it. Do you feel as if you're a burden or that life isn't worth living? Sometimes, when I feel really low, I just... I used to think everyone would be happier without me. But I guess people don't really care. Besides, I live alone. Who could I be a burden to? What makes you feel better? Let's see. My cats! I mean, this is the cat lady, right? And for real, I'm like a cat lady in real life. So, because I am now surrounded by four cats. Um... My cats. I always put out a bowl of food for the stray cats. They're ever so grateful. I like their company. What hey. makes you feel worse? Crap. I actually accidentally reloaded the stupid Twitch channel instead of responding. And yes, no, this is not like WoW players. I'm a WoW player. And uh, I think this is like a day or two after she tried committing suicide, I think. No, this is obviously after she got tra caught trying to leave. So, why am I not on my page? What? God dang it, hold on you guys. I screwed this up. Alright, so, we're gonna go... I hate it when it rains, uh... Loneliness. There we go. I wish I had someone to talk to sometimes. And yet you seem to avoid people. Because they're only interested in themselves. Not all of them, surely. I'm beginning to think you are actually afraid of finding a friend, because it would force you to come out of your shell. Call it what you like. I'll sure be glad when I find the right person someday. Have you imagined your funeral, and how people will react to your death? Um, uh, let's see. Probably nobody would come anyway. Can you imagine it? Now that's a sad picture. Loved by no one. Missed only by some cats. No tears shed for me. No flowers on my grave. But that's okay. I never liked flowers. I wouldn't miss that. Finally, I'd like you to tell me about Eric. Eric? Eric. Yes, your husband. I believe this might be important. What can you tell me about your relationship? What had happened between you two? Oh, shit. What I do kind of like about this is this whole, all of this, all of these answers that I'm giving, doesn't change the story at all. It just changes her backstory, which is kind of cool. So you can go with something different every single time. So, um... Let's <sighs> see... There's nothing to talk about. Hmm. Fine. I suppose you've opened enough for one day. Okay, one more question. This is just a formality, but I have to ask, are you going to do it again? That's a hard one. I don't know. But hey, I've got it. The answer is no, I'm not. Thank you very much. Excellent. We are nearly done here. There's just one more thing I must clear with you. Okay. What exactly happened last night? Well, after I'd met you outside the ward yesterday, I went back to my room and fell asleep. I slept really well, considering what happened earlier. But then someone woke me up. It was the same nurse who was so friendly with me the first night. She said we needed to talk. We must go, Susan. You are not safe here. 
But... Please, you must follow me. Quickly. No oh, shit, I had a feeling... I went <laughs> after her. Safe there. The ward seemed very quiet. It must have been late at night. Hurry! Wait for me. Tell me what's going on here. Okay. The security guys were gone. She pointed at the corridor and said, You go first. I'll explain everything in a minute. Susan, if we don't escape now, they're going to hurt you. Please trust me. I know a way out of here. I'll help you escape. Let's go down this corridor. I'll be right behind you. Oh, this corridor? Oh, I guess this way. I think I can hear someone coming. Damn it! We can't go through there. Let's turn back, Susan. I know another way. Oh. She was trying. Turn left here. We can use the maintenance lift to get us out of this place. Well, she was saying that Mr. X or Dr. X wasn't that bad of a guy. Maybe. I don't know. A little too nice. What are we doing on the roof? Liz! What the hell are you doing? And why is there blood on your clothes? Liz! It's quicker than the stairs. And besides, all the doors are locked anyway. This is the only way out of here. The only escape. Let's both jump. It won't hurt, you'll see. Um... This is a bad idea. Come down and we'll talk. I've made up my mind. I need to end this suffering now. Besides, I have no one to live for anyway. No one ever listened to me. No one ever cared. I listened. You're a nice girl. You have your whole life ahead of you. You listened. Did you really? Of course I did. You talk a lot, but I've always been a good listener. I liked talking to you. So do you remember that story, then? The one I told you the other night? The one about the woman in A&E? Oh yeah, didn't she get burned? Um, she smoked a cigarette and got burned Yeah, she smoked a cigarette and burned in bed. Okay, you have listened. Maybe you're right. Or maybe it was just a blind guess. But I must jump anyway. I have no choice. Wait! Please stop and think for a second. Did you not hear what I said? I have no choice. Yes, you do. You can choose to come back inside with me and we'll just forget this like it never happened, okay? Do you remember that other thing I told you? I'm sure I told you about my flatmates. Did I tell you what one of them does for a living? Um, I, don't I think bet I you don't remember this. that. Um... Shit. All right, I'm, is this a blind gassy guy? She's a stripper. Yes. Oh, yeah. Or at least that's what I think she is. You've listened. I just wish other people did. I'm sure they do. It can't be that bad. What do you know? Why do you care, anyway? I don't want you to make the same mistake I did. I thought you of all people knew how it feels. When you're trapped, and you can't trust anyone. Look... I'm sure there must be someone who cares about you. My colleagues don't care. My family don't care. Even my fucking boyfriend never cared. He said he needed to go find himself. Did I tell you when he broke up with me? Uh, I think it was Valentine's Day. On Valentine's Day, 
Yes. Valentine's Day. You and I could have been good friends, you know. You really listened to everything I said, after all. I... I'll be back. When you need help, I'll be there, Susan. But right now, it's time for me to let go. No! After that, I went back. I tried telling people about Liz, but they all thought I was crazy again and didn't believe me. And you were absolutely sure you saw Liz jump off this building? You know, it doesn't matter. I just want to finish this and get some fresh air. Susan, I know Liz well. She wouldn't do something like that. As a matter of fact, I saw her this morning. She's fine. I'd like you to come with me and see her. Say hi. Make sure she's alright. Stop treating me like I'm crazy. Fine. I'll go. I don't even care that much anyway. The door is locked? I plan ahead, Susan. I had a feeling in my gut, and my gut's never wrong. I feel like I really got to know you, though. I'm very sorry you've had such a difficult life. I like your green eyes and your sleek cheekbones. You're a clever girl, Susan, but the sadness has poisoned you for too long. There is no coming back from it. For what it's worth, I would have let you go if it wasn't for Liz. Do it! Too creepy. Yes, he is. bird again. Come on. I wonder what it does. Let's pull it again. <coughs> Nothing. doors. I can't see them. Just walk back to the right side of the stage. I feel it as soon as I can't miss them. Yeah, she's immortal. The Queen of Maggots actually gave her the power to be immortal. So, she can't die. That's one of the things you actually missed in the beginning. Does Susan like my girls? Whatever they are, tell them to stop staring. But they are here to guide, Susan. They are the guardians of the doors. They know which doors you should enter to get the rewards. But there is one problem. There's always a problem. I'm not even surprised. Which door should I go through? I will leave that to Susan's own best judgment. But the 
is plainly her only chance to find what she had lost. Wasted. And Susan will never get it back. Susan has one question. And she can only ask one of them. She must use it wisely. Fine. I can do that. But what's the catch? It's very simple. One of my girls always tells the truth. While the other one always lies. Okay, so be- I'm guessing you can't tell me which is which? It's something I've forgotten myself a long time ago, Susan. But does it really matter? What I'm questioning is all Susan needs to find the right door. So basically the Knights and Knaves riddle. So, yeah, it is over a thousand years old. Okay, let's ask. So which door, all right, so which is the best question to ask? Which door will lead me to my reward? Which door will take me back to my world? Um, all right. Which door will lead me to my reward? Okay, so we got to think about this. Okay, so if she's always telling the truth, then that is the door that'll lead to her okay but if the other one always tells hey, oh, shit well you know what fuck this i don't want to i only got 15 minutes and we got to finish this chapter I, I i i will tell you this i can't figure this out i just don't want to waste a bunch of time thinking about it and that was the wrong door so i can't figure it out it's just i have to really think about it and like i said we only got about 15 minutes here all right, so blow out. Okay, so I am fairly certain every time she blows out a candle, somebody dies. Oh, fun. It's a hospital body bag. Let me guess, I'm in there. I probably, I, yeah, I, I don't know what the other ones say. Uh, yeah, I had to, I was supposed to ask both, both of them, wasn't I? You treacherous, dirty bastard. I opened my heart to you, and you stabbed me to death in cold blood. You'll pay for this. I swear you will. But this means the old woman was right. I can't die. I'm immortal. I think it's time to find out how very mortal you are, Doctor. Ooh, suicide note. It's the suicide note I wrote. Why would he put it on the wall? My name is Susan Ash Ashworth. I live out. I live alone in this old two-bedroom flat. I rarely go outside. Oh, okay. He brings his victims down here in hospital body bags. A piece of sharp iron bar is stuck in the girl's chest. Take that. Another unlucky victim of the killer. This one looks like she's been dead for a long time. even locked. Oh yeah. Okay. 
Never mind. Turn on the light. Should I keep running past the stuff I need to do? Alright, well, I pick. Alright, take that saw blade. I think I, I'm pretty sure I have to make a weapon. A weapon. I'm crafting my. Shit. My weapon. Shit! Stop! Alright, well, basically, this guy's making horrible artwork. You're gonna pay for this, you bastard. I think that's a real body. It seems he used a lot of makeup to turn her into the spitting image of Mona Lisa. A fake skeleton. It had probably been used for teaching before it ended up here. Take. Take the bolt. probably considers himself quite the, quite an artist. Use. Alright, so we're gonna put use. I'm trying to remember. When I, sh uh, I should secure the top of the weapon now so the saw stays in place when I use it. Let's use this. stuff. Another poor victim of the mad doctor. There's something shiny on one of her fingers. Well, I could pull it off if the finger wasn't so swollen and stiff. Oop. Her limp body is positioned in the exact same way as the painting. It seems the killer used wire to keep her head tilted to the side. Shit. That's a lot of screaming. Let's open it quiet. Alright, taking that wrench. <laughs> what? Oh, what the? Oh, that's old. I use the... Oh shit. This body is quite badly decomposed already. While real art lasts forever, doctors' models will soon rot and fall apart. That sick man. How did he manage to hide all this badness? I could probably find some use for this. Yeah, I'm taking it. This place has been closed down a long time ago. <sighs> Shit, it's Liz. God, it's Liz. But it's impossible. I spoke to her last night. I tried to stop her from jumping. And yet, here she is stuck on a metal rod, looking like she's been dead for a lot longer than that. What happened then? Was it just a dream? Am I really going crazy or was she really there, just already dead? Her pockets are empty. There's a key. I hope at least you will find some peace in death. This must be the only way out of here. I think that key is for the door, but... I think you can leave, but I'm killing that fucker. So we're doing this, you guys. Oh, wrong. Uh, it's supposed to be like soap or something around here.
I think if I get the soap, I can leather up the hand and get that bolt off, but I don't know if I'm going to need it. Alright. Alright. <laughs> Unconventional, that's it. Alright, well, I have a, um, Closer to the doctor first. No, that fucker's dying. He killed Liz. He's gotta die. I don't need eyes to enjoy your fear. Scream louder, little bitch! Scream your lungs out! Louder, I said! Yes, but this is by far my favorite of songs. Would you like me to dance for you? Unlike you, I know all art needs to be appreciated. Your scream is like a poem without words. He's wearing a mask and a blindfold. He's convinced I'm dead and no one knows about this place. Well, looks like you just made a big mistake, you arrogant asshole. Your body. An instrument. I never thought you had it in you. And yet you make every fiber in my body tremble with excitement. Your body will forever be admired by those like me who understand the only pure and true form of art. What is, um, that funky dance? I'm gonna attack his ass. I wouldn't stand a chance. He'd just kill me again. I need a weapon. Alright. We're using this. <sighs> What's up, Doc? <laughs> nah, we're gonna just go with the See, see you in hell. hell. Finally got him what he deserved. I hope he rots in hell. I've just saved this girl's life, but why do I still feel so angry? Thank you. Thank you so much. He would have... He would have killed me. Like the others. The animal. You gave him what he deserved. Who are you? Um, they call me the cat lady. Um, they call me the cat lady. Now get out of here. Call the police. I'm going home. Oh, he knows it's the wrong type of mace. Oh my gosh, thanks. Three o'clock on the dot, you guys. On the dots. Alright, so this is chapter three. We'll get through this poem here and then we'll Standing by the river, I wonder. Do I need a stone? No. My heart is heavy enough. It will drag me down for sure. First of all, I should wash off all the horrible memories of this, this night. I'm dying for a shower. Something to eat, some coffee, a cigarette. I'd love to see my cats, too. Let's just pretend for a minute that everything is back to normal. I survived, after all. Maybe now I can try to enjoy little things in life. Okay, 
Yeah, I can do this one step at a time. 